got here with Dr. Dave. Dams are a feature of pretty much all Australian farms. And what you can see here is a great example of a few things you can do to make your dams more friendly for the local animals. Keeping some vegetation around, leaving some logs, rocks on the ground, can give little hidey holes for a lot of, lot of native animals that otherwise don't have too many places to hide in the average farm. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, look at this. Here we've got an eastern blue tongue. Come back here. All right. Just the sort of animal I was talking about. So this is a little chap that has really benefited from all this structure we've been putting on the ground, the logs, the rocks. Not only does it give him a little hidey holes, that's where his food likes to live as well. Snails, slugs, all sorts of creepy crawlies. And you can see his tongue there, the blue tongue. He uses that as a threat. So when a snake or a goanna comes along, he'll stick out that tongue and go, Rah! you don't want to eat me. I'm sick, but it doesn't do us any harm at all. It's actually quite a, quite a harmless native animal. This is only about half grown. They get, uh, or maybe two thirds grown. They get a bit bigger than this and certainly a lot chubbier in a, in a good year. And one of the golden rules with lizards, you never grab them by their tail because it can break away in your hands. And, uh, and that's just no fun for the lizard. But these guys are in real trouble. Uh, foxes, cats, and unfortunately dogs, pet dogs, do a lot of damage for this little guy. It doesn't know about those kinds of predators. It evolved in a landscape where they didn't exist. And so now, in many farming areas, you very rarely see blue tongues. Foxes especially eat them a lot. But there's a few things you can do to really help them out. And as we just discussed, leaving a few logs on the ground, especially in areas where there's uh, nice green grass, is a great thing to do for them. And you can do this in your garden. You don't have to live on a farm to do this. If you've got blue tongues in your area, just leaving a few logs um, around will be a great thing for them. And they'll actually uh, keep looking after you because uh, one of their favorite foods is snails. They love snails. So a few logs around your veggie garden, not only will you have lots of biodiversity, but you'll have better veggies. Now, a really interesting fact about these guys, like most reptiles, they've got a third eye and you can see it right at the tip of my finger here. It's on that central scale, the one that's uh, shaped like a diamond, right in the center of its head. And they use this to work out, is it light or is it dark? Should I go in and go to sleep or should I go outside and do some eating? It's called a pineal uh, foramen. It's a pineal hole that goes straight down into the brain and helps the lizard work out when's daytime, when's nighttime. It's something all lizards have, but next time you've got a blue tongue in your hands, have a look in the center of his head and you'll see what I'm talking about. What have we got here with Dr. Dave?